Hello once again, I'm Peter D, and welcome to another episode of Pass or Fail. Yes, Pass or Fail, a show where I sit in front of a green screen and review movies. On today's episode, I'm going to be reviewing Dinner for Schmucks. Now even though I didn't like this film, I'm going to talk about its positives first. First of all, Steve Carell does an excellent job portraying his quirky character, and he really seems like a likable guy. Someone you want to meet in real life and invite to dinner. He puts a lot of effort into this character despite the bad script. And you can tell that he really cares about this part. Speaking of Steve Carell's character, in this movie he has a hobby as a taxidermist who creates art with dead mice. And the artwork shown in this film with said dead mice looks fantastic. Whoever did this artwork deserves an award. Who knows, it might have been Steve Carell himself who did it. But unfortunately, that's all I have to say about this film that's good. Now on to the negative. First of all, besides Steve Carell, the cast in general was pretty boring, and their antics failed to humor or interest me. I also didn't like the cliché subplot of Paul Rudd and his girlfriend. It just seemed to get in the way of what could have been a great buddy comedy. And when you add that with a bunch of romantic comedy clichés, you get a pretty forgettable plot, but the biggest issue in this film is the jokes, which I'm going to cover in another session of Freak Out! Holy cannoli was this film boring. I have never in my life sat in a comedy film and have heard no laughter throughout the first 10 minutes of the film. Most of the jokes were flat out lame, and you could predict the punchline from 5,000 miles away. Sure, there were a couple of good jokes, but in all honesty, most of the jokes made old dogs look like the hangover. So to sum it all up, I'd totally give Dinner for Schmucks a fail. Well, that's all for now. I'll see you next time.